way more importantly than that, make sure you ship out, ship out, check out shopsotg.com next weekend because Black Friday is coming. We are almost there, and I am very excited. Today's going uh, today. This year's going to be another great year, and of course, we're bringing back the fan uh, favorite of the Battle Box. Not Battle Box. Too many boxes. Black Friday mystery. box. Mystery. Mystery box. Yeah. The Black Mystery Box. The Black Friday box is once again making its triumphant return. Uh, it, it'll be available to anybody who places an order on Black Friday weekend. Or if you it, don't want to place an order, you can send a handwritten letter to our P.O. box, and that will count as an entry to possibly get the Black Friday box because legal <laughs> reasons. So. Is the um, is the is the Black Friday mystery box? Is that the reigning defending champion? Mm. Yes. Okay. Just wondering. Black Friday Absolutely. mystery box. Yep. So, so yeah, we we love you guys so much that we're not clogging your inbox. We're willing to lose the profits until Black Friday, huh? and we're not clogging your inbox with the uh, sales at the beginning of November first. Oh yeah, I've yeah. already gotten. I have already received Black Friday sale everything yeah thanks so, yeah. which when people are like oh it's coming consumer, up soon kind of like it's like this is you know, why don't you start in september or august nice. or whatever like is there yeah. any moratorium on that why not uh, just start be. in january just have That's all right. year just, black just, friday year everything is 50 percent off all the time why don't we just go with that why not yeah. right right why don't we just yeah, put make people a, happy why don't we just put a uh a, a dedicated all year long christmas section in walmart just all year long I'm sick of people trying to sell holidays eight weeks before the actual holiday. Well, it it's not or special. Not even eight anymore. weeks, four months. It, if it's Christmas all the time, then it then it does. It's not special. They were putting out Halloween candy and Family Dollar at the end of July. And yeah, yeah in August they were like, "You better hurry up." Which it's is why we're not weeks. bothering. Which well, is why we're not doing Black Friday stuff three weeks before Black Friday. <laughs> but trust me, it'll be worth it. Black well, Friday weekend. This, this goes out on great. the 16th, so you're actually uh, only like nine days away. Yeah, but people were doing Black Friday stuff on like November oh, yeah. 3rd. So, you know. know. All right, moving on. Moving on. We got. Moving yeah. on. Go for it. It is time for a Student of the Gun Homeroom brought to you by our good buddies at CrossbreedHolsters.com. You know what I really appreciate about CrossbreedHolsters.com? I appreciate the fact that the company has grown so much that they can do cool stuff. You know, oh, wow, that's like cool. they have a custom shop now. And we talked about this a couple of years ago. They did the Taco Tuesday special custom holsters with the taco, you know, on. Yeah. and uh, what's funny is we were we were at the shop a few years ago, a couple of years. I think it was last year. I guess it was last year. And we and I was laughing about the taco thing and and they thought I meant, oh, like the that special no, I was like, no, the, the taco holster man. <laughs> yeah, they've grown to the point now that they can do cool things and, and not have to worry. Because you know, some companies are like, we 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 can't put time and resources into anything that we're not gonna sell a million of. If, if we're not going to sell 10,000 of these specific units, we're not going to do it. Now, I like this. This is cool. But uh, but your enemy will see you in the dark, clearly. So oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, just yeah can't exactly. that. It's like, that's why I don't use tritium sights on my guns, because the enemy will see me. <laughs> It'll give away my position. Oh, man. You know that's a thing, right? You know that there are, there are RIAs who have posted comments. They sat down, used their fingers to create a comment on a public forum saying how they don't use tritium sites because they will give away your position. Oh, everybody's got their thing. So drive on. That's true. Some people got, they, they some people need better hobbies. It though. leaves more tritium sites for our people. That's right. Buy, more tritium so. for us. Yeah. But uh, if you go to crossbreedholsters.com right now, you will see that they have a special eighties vibe, retro looking holster set that you can buy if you want to if you don't want to don't buy it i don't care doesn't make any difference to me uh but they are the sponsor of the homeroom and the homeroom is all about being what 
Dangerous on demand. Yes, dangerous on demand. Hey, quick question for you suckers out there in the in, in listening to the show. Would you buy a student of the gun holster? Like with our logos and stuff on it, a cool design custom shop holster. I'm interested to know if it's worth with the icons. Yeah, with the icons. It would be have to be like a cool design though, not just the icon on it. Well, if you put if you put the icon and then you mixed in student for life. Yeah. Student yes. for life, icon, student yeah. for life. But icon. it would have to be like a, like, you know how I'm looking at this 80s one right now. Yeah. And you see where they did the, the logo right there, right? But then there's this cool stuff around it. It makes it look cool. It doesn't have to be that color. It would be the brand colors with the icon and whatnot. But uh, I'm interested to know if you guys that are listening would buy one of those. Because if I get enough responses, I'll go to Crossbreed and say, hey, I've got this many people that said that they'll buy one out of those people. It's probably a 10% that'll actually spend the money on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so here you, you go. Let's do that. You bags of douches <laughs> out there. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'll wear it. If you give it to me for, yeah, free. there's, like, there are a certain number of bags of douches who are like, yeah, I'll buy. I sure do like that idea. Yeah. And then we, we do it and they're like, well, will you buy one? If it's, if you're going to send it to me for free, no, we, that's, that's not how that works. That's not how any of this. That old lady told you on the commercial, man. If you, that's not that's yeah. not how that works. I unfriend. That's not how any of this works. That's pretty I funny. Unfriend you. That's right. But let's talk about being dangerous on demand. So about two weeks ago, was it two weeks ago? I think so. Yeah, I think somebody it was two weeks ago. somehow the pepper ball lunacy nonsense came up. Yeah, and and, and, and this is exactly why I posed the question. Uh, question was do you want to ask it yeah I'll, want... I'll just ask it because as dad just said he has very strong opinions about the pepper ball gun and i was just wondering uh are you fundamentally opposed to the existence of the pepper ball gun does the fact that there is a paintball gun like thing that shoots pepper balls with gas offend you to your core and you think it shouldn't happen exist or what what is your issue with it my issue with it is that it, they are sold and marketed as replacements for firearms. They're not sold and marketed as in addition to. They're sold and marketed as replacements for firearms. They're trying to convince consumers, you don't need to re the, all the dangers and risks that, that surround gun buying, and, and you don't want that. So you're you, going to meet deadly force from an attacker that's attacking you with deadly force. You're going to meet it with a pepper ball gun with less than lethal force. Less than lethal. Yeah. Not a good idea. See, and, and the people are like, oh, well, we're just trying to make money, man. We're trying to cash in on the on the ignorance of the American gun buyer. Like, OK, it's fear. It's fear based marketing. Oh, uh, so that's my problem with it. My problem with it is that rather than be honest with people, you know, when, when I was a became a police officer I don't know, a thousand years ago, uh, back before the Internet, when I became a police officer back before the Internet and this there was this new thing it was called oleo resin capsicum or OC. And the street name is pepper spray. So, yes, I was there. I was there when, uh, when I'm like, uh, who's the elf king? He says, you don't know. I was there. I was there when, when man war. failed. Yeah, I was there when pepper spray, when oleo resin capsicum, when it first became a thing, right? I was there at the very beginning. And you know what we didn't do? We didn't issue cans of pepper spray to police officers and take away their guns. We didn't tell them, well, you don't need guns anymore because if you encounter a bad person, just spray them with this stuff. No, we didn't do that because we taught people that there was a difference between lethal force and less than lethal force. And I was I remember when the pepper ball things first came about there. They've been around for a long time. Uh, they they first came out and what they essentially did was they just took commercially available recreational sport pepper ball guns you know with the big hoppers and stuff and, guns. yeah basic paintball guns and uh and they filled and they just they modified it a little bit so that it would be tactical or whatever 
but it was essentially just a glorified paintball gun and they filled it with pepper balls and they're like hey cops you know if you're if there's ever riots or whatever just go out and like and uh, shoot people with paintballs or but they're pepper balls and i remember that and then they said mm. the problem with that is it's pneumatic uh and so you've got to you're going to store these things right they're just going to be sitting around but the problem is like for instance the problem with the pepper ball guns is they're co2 powered so you have to ask yourself am i going to activate the co2 cartridge so that it's ready to go when i need it or am i going to wait until i need it and then when i need it i'll activate the co2 cartridge because ladies and gentlemen I don't know if you know anything. I, I've been shooting CO2 powered BB guns since I was a little kid. Um, once you activate it, you only have so much time, and then that thing's just gonna it's gonna lose its power, right? So, are you planning to activate the CO2 cartridge, pack your pepper ball gun in your bag or your pocket, or heck, they sell freaking holsters for them, uh, and then just walk around? hoping that everything's good and then when you need it you're going to whip it out and shoot pepper balls at the bad guy or right. whip this out excuse me why and I whip this in addition out. to that one of the things that we know from data is that i'll use the instance of the the, the police chick that drew a taser and or i drew a gun instead of a taser recently yep so even if you do decide to carry a pepper, pepper ball gun and a pistol without enough training, you're setting yourself up for failure when you're, you could potentially, and you are more likely and most likely to draw your gun instead of the pepper ball gun, because you've spent more time drawing that gun than you have the pepper ball gun. And it, it's, it's mental gymnastics in the moment. It's like dad's analogy of the sculpture, the sculptor. Rather than adding more stuff for you to figure out and think about in your brain to make decisions, the the more that you can remove from that sculpture, the more perfect it is going to be. So it, if you have less things, the fundamental four, lethal, sharp, bright, medical, you have those four things and you go through the process of, you, know, you go through training and you learn how to use this stuff. Instead of adding more mint things that you're going to have to do mental gymnastics around more hurdles that you're going to have to jump over in the moment in the process, then if you sculpt that away, get really good with the four lethal sharp bright metal medical, the fundamental four, then you're going to be better off with those. Yeah. The, the, my, my big problem with pepper ball guns is the deceptive marketing. Uh, is the fact that they sell them and they push them to people and of course they're not pushing them to large physically fit strong men yeah. they're pushing them to grandmas and women and you know whatever people who actually need a lethal tool to cover the gap you know the the uh, disparity of force gap they need that and they're like well you're a woman and you don't really want to carry a gun because you're scared of guns so here carry this pepper ball gun oh, doug just sent me an article on the chick her name was kim potter she was sentenced to two years in prison for killing dante wright then she's the one that drew the tape the gun instead of the taser mm. yeah yeah so and then like the, the another problem with pepper ball guns you're like oh they make them orange and they make them yellow and they make them dapper -dap and like okay uh is people they look like guns and they're shaped like guns but people don't treat them like guns they don't treat them like guns so what they do is they just leave them laying around like if i had if you had a real live loaded gun you wouldn't leave it laying around right you're like no that would be stupid but people will treat pepper ball guns or whatever. They won't treat them like firearms because it's not really a firearm and no one's actually going to die. So I can just stash it here, leave it there, whatever. Uh, you can't fool yourself. And this deceptive advertising of the pepper ball deal. And you're like, yeah, but I thought you were a big proponent of OC. 
pepper spray. I am. But a pepper ball is a single projectile. And if you miss, it's way easier to miss where they're like, and, and you get what, like five or six of them or something like that. It's just, look, here's the deal. Unless you are a corrections officer or riot, just leave the pepper ball guns for the riot control guys. It's better options. Just, just yeah, better options. You're you're way better off just getting a can of Fox OC and throwing it in your pocket. You know, if, if you're, that. yeah, if you're really concerned about having a less than less than lethal option, and here's the great thing, you're never gonna mistake a can of Fox, a two ounce or three ounce can of Fox OC for a gun. Yeah, you're not gonna like reach in and say. Oh, I, I pulled out my gun. I thought it was going to be my canister of pepper spray. I was so confused. No. Um, yeah. Fox OC. Uh, and you're like, why do you why do you promote Fox? Because it's the, the shiznit. OK, that's weird. All right. <laughs> uh, we good? Yeah. I, I went to my search engine. And I typed in Fox OC and it's got some some uh what are those people that you're not supposed to talk to or engage zach furries yeah <laughs> oh god <laughs> yep all right that makes sense <laughs> you, you want to stick a thing in your your rectum so that you have a tail <laughs> moving on so dad do you think that there is any place for uh do you think there is any place for pepper ball gu pepper ball guns in private society no no not, no there, no it's no. over no. What about like a teenager who can't carry a gun? No. Still no? No. It's still a, a less. It, it still looks tool. like a gun. Yeah. Um, you're, you're a, a can of Fox OC. Yes. Is is the, the three ounce can, the standard fist size can, is twenty two dollars and ninety nine cents. Get get two or three or four of those and have them everywhere you go. Put okay. them in your Unless you're in New your Jersey. purse, your pocket. Yeah, well, then you can't don't go them. to New Jersey. Um, oh, I'm sorry. You're unable yeah, to carry them. You're unable. You know, they, they frown upon it. Unallowed. But, uh, you're yeah. you're unallowed disallowed. You've been disallowed. disallowed yeah. yeah. You're able, but you're not allowed. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So. All right. So there we go, I guess. Yeah. So they, no, do not buy pepper ball guns for teenagers. Because first of all, I was a teenager. And if I'd had a pepper ball gun, <laughs> my bros would have hated me. Oh, yeah. Because I'd have been like, zing, waka. I just throw out an option. So, uh, yeah. No, just spend the 25 bucks, get a can of Fox OC, uh, get a couple cans, and move on with your life. Uh, there you go. If you had a teenager, I would buy them a really good flashlight and OC and tell them to carry that. 